Yo, yo, welcome to another Slow MTG box opening. Today we got for you this baby, English Time Spiral. But before that, I thought I'd show you some cool oddities. This one picked up at pre-release for Forgotten Realms recently. Came in one of these packs. Crimped card. If you haven't seen a crimped card, it's when a card has been caught in the machine when it seals it, and then it picks up the, the crimp where the packet actually clamped onto the cards. You can see here. This clearly aligns with here, where the card has shifted when it was sealed. Monk class pre-release foil the stamp. The other thing I really want to show you guys was this these artist proofs from Wayne Reynolds. So pick them up along with some artwork from this guy. So you notice that this looks like Wandering Arcade from the recent Strixhaven set, but what's different? Look, how can you tell it's a proof? It's no hollow foil symbol. So I've got the normal one, normal foil. That's his signature, by the way. I've got the full art and extended art, whatever you call it, extended art foil, all without the holo symbol. And the thing is about proof cards is at the back. Ta-da! Blank. So these are perfect if you want to get them signed or, or sketched behind. But I thought they're kind of cool to own. But anyway, on to the main entertainment here. Time Spiral, I cracked open a Japanese box previously. Today I'm going to crack an English one. Now there have been some reports that you've seen on YouTube and Reddit about people getting resealed boxes from Amazon. I did pick this up from Amazon and I'm not sure if it's resealed. We'll find out this one I wanted to open it on camera. The seal looks okay. There's just this weird sort of plastic remnant here. So I'm not sure if that's normal or it's a reseal. So who knows? The, the other side as well, there's a lot of extra plastic sort of going on, but it, it looks like the wizards shrink. And if you look at the other, the way I've opened the previous box, the Japanese box, it kind of looks uh, it's less less mess on the side. Same thing with the Commander Legends box, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I've seen some people open this, and the packs inside have clearly been opened and left open or even poorly glued back. But anyway, we'll give it a go and we'll see how it goes. Prices have gone up for this because. It's been, un well, the print run is limited compared to a print-on-demand set like Modern Horizons 2. And people really went crazy over the retro foils. So you're seeing a lot of high prices for these ones in the aftermarket. So these things haven't been torn, so that's a good sign that it hasn't been resealed. But of course, it's easy enough to take up the cover. Oh, there's some glue here. You have a look here. It's a bit of glue here. I'm not sure what that means. A bit sticky, a bit weird. So I'm not sure. Let's find out. Packs still look pretty fresh. Haven't opened, so used to set boosters with 30, but these are typical draft boosters with 36 in them. So 36 shots are getting good stuff. Let me have a look at the bottom here. I think the glue's just come in from here where it's joined. I can see some stickiness there. Anyway, we'll see. I'm gonna keep this intact for drafting with some friends, but let's see what we get. So, so I don't destroy the packs, I am just going to cut them open. The packs look fine, let me have a look. They don't look like they've been resealed, everything's still nice and stamped. So safe to assume that these are alright. So let's keep going. As you've known with this, this is Time Spiral Remastered. They pretty much combined Time Spiral and Planar Chaos into one set. So brought back a lot of reprints. Fans were not expecting this. Chromatic Star, some of it with new art. This is new Chromatic Star art. Some much needed reprints for different formats. Pontify, that's a good uncommon. Play in Commander. Second uncommon, Fire More Kavu. Stronghold Rats. And then the next one should be the foil. Nothing special, Draining Hulk. And then there should be a, a retro foil. Baral, that's a rare, Chief of Compliance. And then a foil, Gossamer Phantasm. Baral is a nice one. Really cool. I think he was originally in Kaladesh, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So generally these have around one foil, uh, retro foil a box, and that's why they go for crazy money. It's quite hard. You need to open quite a few boxes to get a full set of retro art foils. So I'll just go through these really quickly. Uh, Spellburst is a kind of a nice reprint. Life and Limb, nothing special. Thraben Inspector, nothing special. That's not good. So no good hits so far. We'll see. Of course, there's some premium rares that have been reprinted. This is a really good uncommon, uh, common rather, Seaman Spirit Guide. Rift Bolts, of course, played in Modern Burn. Slivers are back. Careful consideration. The rare is Cure Keep 
<laughs> Makes kobolds really cool. Not worth much though. And got the gods a rare reprint. I think originally from Theros. So let's keep going. Obviously, the, the dream is to hit one of the foils. Uh, there's roughly about one a box, the foil retro. Thought Seas would be good. This is new art, I think, by Rebecca Gway. So, rare is a mythic Teferi, Major Zafir, not worth so much. The Chase Rare is the Sliver Overlord. Zulaport Cutthroat, Arc Blade as the foil. Cutthroat, not so good. All right, gotta speed this up because we got a lot of packs to get through. Coral Trickster goes straight to the Uncommons. Delay, that's a nice, much needed reprint with new art. Silversmith, such slivers are rare. Itali, this is nice. Itali also being played in Commander. Really nice hit as a non foil, but would be better in foil. Foil Ponder would be good. Even normal Ponder is really good. Ooh, I, I, I sort of spoiled myself. My, it's a look. Small Pox, really cool art. Mystical Teachings, Greater Gargon, crap. Telran is a rare, and then Empty Torrance got Storm on this, it's really cool. Alright, let's keep going. Now, have you guys played this, played much of this set? This is a much needed reprint as well. I wish they kept the plane shifted um, border. Anyway, so Extirpate, much needed reprint. Tank the price of the original, which was going high. This is nice being played in some tribal decks, Mirror Entity. Looking average so far, this box. I think I'm not going to be opening much more of this. It's just for fun. Keep the channel going. I haven't opened anything in a while because the value in the Forgotten Realms is so poor. Tolera West. Kazali Prime Age. I mean, special. Yeah, the Forgotten Realms, you're seeing people dump the cards pretty cheap. There aren't as many big chase rares, although the art in it is going for crazy money. The Commander decks are pretty fun. Urza Factory, Chroma, uh, Dud Mythic, that's like a $2 Mythic or something. Tight on the Scholar. I am very sad to see my two of my Mythic slots wasted on pretty much bulk Mythics. Sorry, apologies to Chroma. So, most Livers, Time Bug, Dread Return, Mangara, not worth very much, Nature's Claim, and Search Tomorrow Foil. These foils are nice. Wonder if they curl. I'm gonna quickly do two. Love the slivers in the pack. Slivers, I have a sliver EDH deck. Really love playing it. It's not the combo one, it just goes all out and tries to, oops, here we go. Ith High Arcanist, not worth very much. Elvish Mystic, also not worth very much. So far, this column has been a dud. Let's go. Cold Stoker. Then gone, Firewake Sliver. Lenoir Mentor, Timebender, Sefer Eric's Daughter. I think Rex H, I think I'm very sad. Okay, moving on to the second pile. Still a chance for the foil rare. Going to keep going. And let's do three at a time. Kind of like a booster draft, right? I'm gonna open, see what I'm gonna draft here. Lots of slivers. Lots of slivers, could go in any direction. Crovax, Ugh, the third dud mythic. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, but this is a nice hit. Yorgmoth Thrawn Physician, that's worth something. A mythic from Modern Horizons 1. But still, super sad. Well, anything goes in the game of magic when you're cracking packs. Molten Slag Heap, Pulmonic Sliver, that's not bad. Become Immense, not very good. All right, can you tell I'm silent? I'm a little bit bummed out by the lack of value in this box. I had Japanese Thought Season last one. Now this is okay. Dried Arbor, much needed reprint as I will be saying this a lot. Evolutionary Leap and Dark Weathering. That's a good one. I still prefer the original art though. The original art was time shifted. So very nice one. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm pretty sure these packs are not resealed. They're pretty tight. Okay. So buy from a reputable source if you don't want to hit any potential resealed packs. Dredgy Reef. Glittering Wish. 
Alpha Flowing Chalice and Amru Seekers. Oh my god, the value in this is Hose Town. I would like a Gemstone Caverns as a Mythic as well. I think I've got three, maybe I've got the chance for one more. Uh, Nether Trader, pretty bad. Leveler. Here's our first Foil Rare. Dralnu Lek Lord. I don't think it's worth very much. Oh, this box is really painful. It's like throwing away money. Take my money, Amazon. Take my money, Wizards. Bananish Commander. <laughs> Time of need. <laughs> Sad face. Sad face. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. But you have seen some fun stuff open. I opened up a foil uh, Phyrexian script Vronclax. I opened up a Jeweled Lotus from Commander Legends. So some fun stuff has been opened. Triple Ugin in one of the M21 collector's packs. Got Thelon, Worthless. Thought Seas, that's nice. Cloud Seed there. Ooh, quality is bad. You can see sort of a, a print line across this. Yeah, it's not bad. Thought Seas. It's pretty good. That's the best hit so far, followed by the reprint that was Th Thrawn Yolgmoth Physician. Living End, that's a pretty good one as well. That that has uh, some play in modern. That's a mythic, so it's worth a little bit. Harvester of Souls, nothing special, so that was pretty good. Living End. Cascade into, uh, and then Living End, really good. Very hard to interact with the um, mod modern deck. Pact of the Titan, come on, you couldn't even be Pact of Negation. So sad, worst Pact ever. True name, that's not bad. We're nice and foil though. I think that'd be worth something in foil because that sees some legacy play. Sorry about the glare, by the way. I'm trying to keep the cards tilted so you can see what I hit. And then we got, well, it's exhausting opening 36 packs and talking through them. I'm being tidy about this. Let's keep going. Still supposed to hit a foil Retro art. So I got Street Wraith, New Art, Scary, Jim Pavlek. Rather uh, worthless. Rakdos Charm, not worth very much. So Thoughtseize, it's pretty good. Come on, Gemstone, Kevin's Living End. Even Mind Sensor, this was downshifted from a rare. Dreadship Reef, and then Stuffy Doll <laughs> on one of the packs. Price was going up before the reprint. And then we've got Blight, Blighted Woodland. Wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, taking me down to Hose Town. Children of Corliss. Ah, necrotic. Sudden spoiling. Scott split second, but that's all it has going for it. Cranial plating. That's it. Cool ape, though. Look at that. Lars Grant West. Can't believe I'm saying that about a, a token. That's the m most exciting thing in the pack. Anyway. At least I'll still be able to draft this with friends and we'll have a bit of fun, even though the packs are bad. I'm gonna shove them back in the pack and put them in the cupboard until it's time to draft. Got another delay, Sudden Shock, Sliver, Magus of the Future, <coughs> Mount Bao, Kikijiki, and Hardwood Storyteller. Kikijiki is cool. Tricker, tricker. Right, in a combo, you can just create infinite tokens with haste. Another Sudden Shock. Vesuvian Shapeshifter, one in the cycle, it's got Morph as well, it's kind of cool, but ugh, intangible virtue. Getting really frustrated by this box, but that's okay. You win some, you lose some. Keep getting Simeon Spirit Guides, those are like a buck a piece or something. Another Storage Land, another Extirpate, you've seen that two in one box. Rex Age, Rex Age, Wrecking My Dreams of a God Box. Hmm... Pretty sure these packs are good. All right, still haven't hit that foil though, so let's keep going. Might be something good, or might be something bad. Calciform pools, keep get these storage lands are nice to pick up in the draft if you want to go multicolored. Acromus Memorial, yeah, that's a pretty good hit. Lots of mythics, six mythics so far. I opened one of this in the list uh, box as well. Got Feather, Redeemed. There was a hot moment when Feather decks were pretty playable, but then it just got outclassed. Three mana and the casting cost is a bit awkward. Quarry Sliver. Urbog, that's pretty good. Again, much needed reprint. Wastes. Oh, it's kind of nice to see an old school, old border waste. These are nice. Thrill of the Hunt. Again, quality is bad. You can see, I think the, the rare sheet got rubbed on the floor or something. It's got some... Um, Bit of a line through it. 
I think the last box I had two, two foil rares, so let's see if I get another one. Collation, I'm seeing a lot of repeat cards, nothing too exciting. Firework Sliver, Boom and Bust, this box Tessiga, still no foil. Leading me to think, nah, I, I'm overthinking this, I don't think they resealed this box. It could be one of those boxes where there just wasn't any foil, um, there aren't any foil, retro foils. I got Vandal Blast in the last one, so who knows what I'll get in this one. Let's start from the bottom and work our way to the top. Think twice, Grape Shot. Bit of a Storm thing, I wonder if it's easy to draft Storm. Storm Entity, Lotus Bloom. Buy a box promo for this one, it's Lotus Bloom. We've got Grenzo in old retro foil. No, this is kind of cool. Grenzo, playable in some EDH decks. Rakdos EDH. Thanks for joining me, thanks for watching, appreciate it. If you like what I produce, that's Coalition Relic. Sadly, with things like Arcane Signet, it's not as relevant in Commander anymore. Lavinia, non-foil, still haven't hit the foil. Whoa, this is really bizarre. I wonder if people can weigh out the foil cards. They can't, and then put them back. Uh, I got my conspiracy hat on. I shouldn't. Flagstones of Troikia, that's worth something. Mole Drifter. Oh no! There is our retro foil that's even damaged. It's Ajani's Pride Mate. Really bad. That's not what we want to see. And if you can see here, one of the worst ones to have, and it's so damaged. Thanks, Wizards. You guys are the best. Ah, uh, well, them's the breaks. Like I said, not going to be getting any more. How many of these guys am I seeing? Tolarian Sentinels. Anyway, keep going. You win some, you lose some. Porphyry Notes, another loss. Slimefoot, Stowaway, another loss. Two more packs. Wow, this box is a big dud. Can it be saved? If you like, hit subscribe. See me spend all my money. <laughs> Look at that. Mary really curses a vampire cat. Oh, I've been unfocused the entire time. No. Monastery Sift Spear, that's okay. I can put it in my burn deck. And then the very last pack. Because I'm so sad, I will open it extremely slowly. I see a foil. Who knows? Maybe I might get another uh, retro foil. Salt God. Uh, I can't even pronounce things now. Nope. Riman and Paradise Plume. Only one foil rare and a lot of damage rare cards. So there you have it. Bit of a dud box. Thumbs down. But cool for drafting. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye, guys.